Hey guys, so today I am doing a video on how I sewed up these little diaper covers. The pattern is by Little Lizard King, a Mayfair pattern. I do love this pattern. It goes up to age four, and I actually made these in a size four for my four-year-old to go under her dress. I did modify the waistband. I just wanted to see what it would look with an eighth of an inch on top to kind of give it a little frill to it. And I widened the legs because she has really chubby legs. So the process is pretty much the same other than the modification on the waistband and these are the materials that you are going to need. So you do need that quarter inch elastic. The rest is pretty much optional but helpful to have and half inch elastic for the waistband is part of the pattern requirements. So these are just some of the tools that I used. And once you have cut out your pattern, this is where I modified it. I folded it a quarter of an inch and then I measured exactly one inch below that line uh, for my elastic casing. And they definitely sit a little bit lower on the waist. And then I went ahead and I ironed it down. I did that to both sides. And I decided I was gonna just serge the end rather than trying to fold it in like the pattern asks. So the next part is stitching the sides. I went ahead and I surged and I straight stitched all the way across. And once you've done that step, you can go ahead and work on your waist encasing for the elastic. Now I had previously ironed it and measured it out only to realize that I hadn't marked exactly where I needed to stitch across for my elastic. And I stitched right, or I made a line right at the at the surging line and an eighth of an inch from the top. And that gave me just enough space for my half inch elastic to go through. You do need to make sure that when you do this, you might wanna do that beforehand just because it's easier without, the, without it having been sewn already on the sides. So once I marked it, I went ahead and I stitched straight across uh, the one eighth of an inch down and then right above my serger line and I left an opening on the side where I can insert my elastic and I have this cool little tool which is great for um, for this project because the waist area is a little narrower and you want to make sure that if you use a long one it can go all the way around so it works really great and I went ahead and I pulled all of my elastic through. So once my elastic is completely pulled through, I can go ahead and stitch it. Um, I like to do a zigzag stitch, exactly half inch seam allowance, and I stretch it out so it's nice and even, and I go ahead and I close that. And now my legs. So my legs, I don't know why I do this. I just feel like it makes the serging so much easier. I just kind of, um, cut a little tiny slit with these little tiny scissors and it helps it stretch out which makes it so much easier to serge and when I'm stitching it because I'm not using bias tape like in the instructions for this pattern. Then I mark half an inch. Now I marked half an inch in the inside um, wrong side of my fabric and I should have done it in the outside but it still works. Uh, you can just fold at that little purple line and iron it because that is going to encase my elastic. Like I said, you could use bias tape, but I was out of it, so I use this method just because I don't want to go to the store and buy some. So now that I have marked and I have ironed, and I can fold over and just stitch all the way along the sides, and this will be my encasing for my elastic for the legs. And you have to kind of really stitch on the serging line, but it works out perfectly, you can see how it, it looks. So the elastic, same method, this cool little uh, tool that I have, the quarter inch elastic, and you go ahead and you're just going to pull it straight across. So once one side is done, you can go ahead and do the other side. Um, I do not stitch that close because you're going to need to leave them open. So I'm just threading the elastic on the other leg and like I said, I was tempted to um, overlap them and zigzag them, but that is not what you want to do because you're going to be stitching straight across 
And if you do this, you won't be able to really close it out uh, the right way. But I do that so that I can stretch out the elastic a little and have it fit a little bit better before I do this next step. So I stitch the elastic um, right on the ends just to hold it in place, you can see. And now that I've done that, you can go ahead and match the bottom and you can go ahead and serge and stitch straight across. So here I've already done that step. I surged the bottom, I sewed straight across, and I, I'm finished. That is it. You can see how bubbly it is in the back, which is perfect for diapers. I think you would have to modify it if you wanted a little tighter look um, as they get older, but it is perfect. I absolutely think this is a great project for scraps of fabric and for under any dresses when they're little because they're learning. So that's what the waistband looks like and that is the project. Thanks for watching.